In this lesson, we're going to talk about commercial system applications. There are a variety of systems out there that, we, that you will see when you're doing any commercial refrigeration. First, we have industrial refrigeration. It uses refrigerating machines that require an attendant that's constantly on the job. The attendant is usually a licensed refrigeration engineer, and industrial plants usually have manual operated machines. Examples such as, as this include large cold storage warehouses, packing houses, industrial plants, ice cream manufacturing operation, frozen food processing plants, and ice making. Commercial refrigeration usually includes high capacity systems with aluminum and stainless steel cabinets for greater durability and ease of maintenance. They may use multiple compressors, condensing units, and evaporators. Examples of commercial refrigeration include supermarket refrigerating units, food display cases, refrigerated beverage and ice cream dispensers, and ice making machines. These cabinets are usually constructed of either metal or plastic. Finishes are usually cleaned. Structural members are steel. Insulation is usually polystyrene or urethane in slabs or formed in place. Refrigeration should be possible even under the most severe service conditions. It may have resistance heating strips around surfaces to prevent moisture condensing on the cabinets. The cabinet construction is also designed for use with remote condensing units. Units may be connected to several cabinets of varying temperatures. Most condensing units are air-cooled. Units may also be water-cooled. In supermarkets, the layout and location of the units may vary with ins installation. Larger installations use multiple condensing units located in the back servicing area or on top of the supermarket roof. Commercial mechanical racks provide common discharge line and liquid receivers. Each display case might have its own evaporator and refrigerant control. Microprocessor controlled systems deliver maximum efficiency. Compressors may run all, the t all at the same time for high loads or cycled on individually on low load conditions. This is an example of a commercial mechanical rack. Notice a single liquid receiver for three compressors on this rack. Multiple scroll Scroll compressor systems places refrigerant equipment as close as practical to the merchandisers being refrigerated. It provides 65 to 75 percent reduction in refrigerant charge. Four to six scroll compressors are used. Compressors are operated in a multiplex manner. Common discharge, common suction line. To refrigerate a lineup of merchandisers containing a variety of product, products. Some might be dairy, might have frozen fruit, might have produce. This is an example of a multiplex scroll compressor system. Compressors or compressors cycle off to match the capacity of the refrigeration system to the merchandisers. Machine rooms may have multiple condensing units pre-wired and piped to various food display and walk-in coolers located inside a supermarket. Grocery cabinets. They're reach-in cabinets. They maintain perishable products at satisfactory temperatures. They range in size from 20 cubic feet to 100 cubic feet net capacity. They contain one to three doors with magnetic gaskets. The door widths vary from 30 to 85 inches. Height of cabinets are from 5.5 to 6.5 feet. The reach-in refrigerator cabinet may have top-mounted condensing units and evaporators. The cooled air is just distributed through a vertical duct. The space holding the evaporator is called a bunker. Temperatures are approximately the same in the domestic cabinet with a minimum of 35 degrees and maximum of 45. Relative humidity for these grocery cabinets is about 80 percent is necessary for salads, desserts, and other fresh foods not to dry out. Next device you'll find is the walk-in cabinet. It has large doors and windows, may be referred to as butcher boxes. The sizes vary. The 7 foot 6 inches and 9 foot 10 inch outside dimensions are considered standard. Boxes may be of a knockdown type, meaning easily taken apart for moving. Cabinets are made with metal linings and exteriors, usually galvanized steel or aluminum. Doors will all have gaskets in them. The objective is to make the box airtight. This is an example of a walk-in cabinet. You notice how it looks like it's slabbed together. It can be moved from one location to another. Door latches have to be accessible from the inside for safety. This is law. You must be able to get out of the box even if someone blocks it. Doors may have heating wires along the edge to eliminate sweating and freezing. 
the my box may be dual temperature unit with both a regular temperature component and a frozen foods compartment. Recently produced coolers used foam in place insulation of rigid polyurethane foam between the inner and outer walls. Insulation is usually a four inch four inches thick. They have forced convection evaporators. In other words, flan, fan blown evaporators are very popular. Temp the temperature is dependent on use. Meat or fresh produce as storage requires temperature between 35 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Relative humidity should be about 80 percent. Constant air movement is required. Ultraviolet lights can also be used to control bacteria and mold growth in the walk-in cabinets. Be very careful working around ultraviolet light because overexposure to the UV rays is dangerous. Lamps should be turned off when anyone is in the cabinet. People working near the lamps must be protected from the rays. In a walk-in cabinet, you should have a drain to get rid of any moisture or condensate. In systems where dehydration is not a concern, such as milk storage, beverage cooling, colder temperatures can be used, and blower evaporators may also be used. Florist cabinets, as found in front of grocery stores many times or in floral shops, vary in size and construction. They may be self-contained or they can be a walk-in. They differ from grocery cabinets because the cabinet temperatures are higher, 38 to 40 degrees. Insulation is usually smaller, 1 inch to 2 inch, and cabinets usually have large window surfaces to permit the viewing of contents. Humidity should be kept higher in the floral cabinets, 90 to 95 percent, with a minimum of 80. Large cooling surfaces maintain high humidity. Natural convection is used in most cases without fans. Motor controls allow little variation in cabinet temperatures. Odor removing devices such as activated carbon may be used. These reduce mold growth and neutralize the ethylene that the plants put off that makes them go bad. Use of these filters require good airflow across the filter and a dedicated circulating fan. Display cases are used to provide ease of shopping and allow the viewing by the purchaser while maintaining safe refrigeration. The temperature in the case is determined by its use. Display case lighting is installed outside glass case to prevent increased refrigerant load. Display cases come in varying design, length, and height. You might have glass enclosed display case only, might have glass enclosed display case and storage cabinet. Open display cases are used for fresh produce, frozen foods, meat and dairy products. Display case may be classified by location of the evaporator, overhead, end or base. The single duty display case is very popular using an overhead evaporator. The main evaporator mounts in the upper portion of the display space under a shelf that forms the top. It provides good refrigerating temperatures all the way through the display case. It may contain a shelf evaporator called an auxiliary evaporator located under the shelves. These are placed so that each shelf is individually cooled. A double duty case includes an additional refrigerated storage space located beneath the display section of the counter. Cases usually serve as temporary container for food or produce. Contents are transferred to a walk-in cabinet overnight. Temperatures of these may be kept at 40 to 45 degrees in both compartments. Evaporators must be narrow, made with fins as small as a one and a quarter inches wide. Some evaporators are plain tube types. Evaporators are usually connected in series in the double duty cases. They may use blower evaporators for cooling to provide even refrigerant temperature throughout the case. Open display cases are commonly used in supermarkets due to easy accessibility of contents by the customers. They may have a storage in space in the base of the unit. Space of top is open. Walls or upper portion of walls may be enclosed in three to four layers of glass. High temperature cases are used for fresh meats and dairy products. Blower evaporators are used in those. Ducts can carry the cold air through grills located at the rear of the case. Warm air returns down the front of the case. This is an example of an open display case. Often used in produce and ca these cases are often used in produce and kept at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit and a very high humidity. Air curtains prevent dry air circulating over the contents and spoiling the appearance of the contents. Airflow patterns can be monitored. An airflow meter or chemical smoke can be used. Airflow curtains should not touch the shelves or products. 
Electrical wiring system with a display case is designed to handle lighting, heating elements, and fans. If you take a look here, you'll see the airflow. We want to maintain the curtain across the front. These, air, these open frozen food display cases are constructed in both chest and upright cabinet styles. Temperatures are very low in these cases. Openings are filled with gasket and seals. Insulation is thick and carefully hermetically sealed. Chest types are popular since top openings prevent cold air spillage when the case is opened. It must be protected from drafts produced by grills, unit heaters, and fans since drafts will interfere with the air curtain of the case, cause higher operating cost and defrost problems. Supermarkets usually connect several cases end to end. Total electrical use must be carefully checked. The evaporator in the open food, frozen food display cases must be defrosted at least once per day. Defrosting is done automatically. A timer operates a hot gas defrost mechanism with an electric heater or defrost device. Cabinets may use two or three air currents. This is an example of an open frozen food display case. The frozen food storage cabinet is seen frequently in grocery stores as well. It's a chest or an upright type insulated with four to six inches of polyurethane. Stainless steel is often used for the inner liner. Outer liner is aluminum or stainless steel. Doors and access openings are heavily insulated. Double gaskets are usually provided for better sealing. Cabinets that use temperatures below the dew point of the room require heaters to prevent moisture from forming on the glass. Electrical resistance strip heaters are used around the door frames and the parts that sweat. Most of these are used for storage purposes only. Food is moved to the display cases as needed. The frozen food storage cabinets operate at zero degrees or lower. Refrigerating mechanism is usually installed at the top of the cabinet. The fast freezing case is similar to a storage case. Temperatures are maintained at about negative 20 degrees. Fahrenheit food is placed as close to the freezing place as possible and it may use refrigerated shelves to provide more heat transfer surface. Ice cream cabinets, as you would see in the convenience store, consists of steel framework with a sheet metal exterior with three inches of polyurethane insulation. Size of sleeve is standard, therefore construction of cabinets is similar. Cabinets range from 1 to 12 ice cream holders. Cabinets should be maintained at approximately 0 degrees. If the temperature is too cold, scooping is difficult and crystallization of ice will occur. Use a dry type evaporator with capillary tube, a thermostatic expansion valve, or an automatic expansion valve. Evaporators may have tin tubing wrapped around and soldered directly to the sleeves or sheet metal with refrigeration portion formed into them. Sleeve openings are on the top, so no spilling of cold air occurs when the cabinet is opened. Some cabinets are self-contained with a condensing unit built into one end of the cabinet. Cabinets may be made with condensing unit, separate, also known as remote type. Upright and open display types may be used for ice cream storage. Package ice cream should be kept at about negative 10 degrees to retain firmness. Soda fountains are also found. It's a means to store and dispense ice cream, cold water, beverage, and syrup. May also store ice sometimes. Compact designs may make service difficult. Design makes service easy. A built-in ice cream cabinet and water cooling mechanism is usually located in the cabinet. Evaporator outlet tubes from ice cream cabinets and drinking water cooler pass around a beverage syrup container, keeping them at the same temperature as water. Syrup should be kept at about 45 degrees. Water should be between 32 and 50. Ice cream between 0 and 10. A typical soda fountain uses a thermostatic expansion valve. The ice cream evaporator has a check valve in the suction line as well. The two temperature valve controls the syrup and the bottom compartment evaporator temperature. The beverage cooler has a solenoid liquid line shutoff valve. There's a sight glass heat exchanger and dryer mounted in the refrigeration line near the condensing unit. The drink dispenses ice and beverages for commonly used. There's also dispensing freezers, soft ice cream making machines known as dispensing freezers. Temperatures vary depending on the product. Frozen carbonated beverages, 25 degrees. Slushes, about 28 degrees. Fruit or water ices, 10 to 20. Soft serve ice creams, about 21. Milkshakes, about 27. And sherbets, about 20. 
It, the dispensing freezer uses a large refrigerating machine to cool or fast freeze the mix. It is then fed to the freezing cylinder. The same or separate motor drives the storing mechanism and dasher. Units may operate continuously because the mix must be kept within a narrow temperature range. Unit must be kept within one to two degree Fahrenheit of correct temperature. The thermostatic expansion valves are used as refrigerant control. The quality of the mix is extremely important. Frozen carbonated beverage is one part syrup and four parts carbonated water. Servicing temperature is 22 to 26 degrees. Health codes require keeping mix containers and freezing cylinders sanitary. The shake maker controls its temperatures with a thermostat. Temperature control is based on the consistency of a mix. As a mix is frozen, the belt tightens and moves the consistency control idler, eventually opening the motor circuit. Modular refrigeration systems are used in a lot of commercial environments. The flexible refrigeration systems in which glass door storage components can be used in a variety of combination with refrigeration units. System has forced air circulation, automatic defrost, adjustable temperature control, and automatic condensate evaporators. We also see water coolers in commercial equipment. The sheet metal housing is attached to a steel framework. Condensing unit is located near the floor. Above it is a water cooling mechanism that's insulated with plastic one inch to two inches thick. The water cooling basin, generally porcelain steel coated cast iron or stainless steel. It may have a heater to provide hot water. It may have a refrigerant compartment for storing items. Heat exchangers frequently are used on water coolers making use of the low temperature of wastewater to pre-cool the fresh water line to the evaporator. The water coolers are required to be installed according to the National Plumbing Code as well as other local codes. Hand shutoff valves should be installed in the fresh water line. A drain pipe should be provided. The bubbler opening must be above the drain line to eliminate accidental siphoning of the drain water back into the fresh system. Water coolers are designed for easy access and use by the disabled. Temperatures for a cooler in the heat treating area of a factory should be about 50 to 55 degrees. For offices, the temperature should be 50 degrees. These are two examples of water coolers that you would find in an office building or factory. Other water coolers may use a self-contained water supply, such as what you would find with the big five-gallon water jugs. Automatic ice makers are also available and fall under commercial refrigeration. Several types are available. Automatically controls the water free and freezes the water. It empties the ice into storage bins and they shut down when the storage space is full. Cloudy cubes can be caused by entrapped air. Floats and solenoids control the water valves. Switches operate the storing action when ice is made. Ice may be removed from freezing surfaces by the use of electric heating elements, hot water, hot gas defrosting, or mechanical roof devices. The automatic ice maker has a cabinet that's insulated. The freezing surface and bin storage areas are made of stainless steel. Some units are self-contained, others you use remote condensing units. Both the supply and drain plumbing are required. Capacity varies from a few pounds to, to many tons per day as the capa capacities increase as water temperature and ambient air temperature increases. Water circuits and ice freezing parts should be cleaned yearly. Vending machines are also commercial refrigeration. They automatically dispense cold air drinks with ice and canned or bottled soft drinks. May dispense ice cream, cold food, cold milk, and frozen desserts. Most use capillary refrigerant controls. Electric systems generally are part of the overall system. Electrically transfers material and operates coin and currency devices. Vending machines may have a variety of components for dispensing, including coin and currency devices, carbon dioxide systems, cup dispensers, heating systems, refrigerating systems that are usually air-cooled, and some have defrost systems. They have transfer systems as well. A milk cooler must be taken into account that milk must be cooled within an hour after being taken from a cow. By law, it must be cooled to 50 degrees and then stored at 40 degrees or lower. Bacterial growth is in milk is dramatically affected by temperatures. During the 24-hour bacteria count period, the bacteria count will increase by 2400 at 32 degrees, 2500 at 39 degrees, 3100 at 46 degrees, over 11,000 at 50 degrees, 
180,000 at 60 degrees over 1,400,000 000 or 1 million at 86 degrees. Stainless steel is often used in bulk coolers. The evaporator is located in the base. Coolers of this type have a 450 gallon to 6,000 gallon capacity. The condensing unit is mounted outside the milk room and is usually air cooled. It should not be put into the vacuum pump room. These coolers should always be properly grounded and it needs a separate safety ground wire the same size as the power wires or larger. These units typically also have a crankcase heater. Milk dispensers dispense milk from the bulk containers. It goes into cans or plastic bags holding three to five gallons. Units must be, meet all health and sanitation codes. Milk is kept at 36 degrees by hermetic refrigeration system. Bakeries also must re refrigerate all por perishable raw materials. Perishables during interrupted processing and finished products. Both normal temperature and low temperature refrigeration is used. Normal refrigeration is used to store ingredients and for dough retardation. Low temperature systems are used to freeze baked goods that are sold frozen. Controlled temperature and humidity is important so air conditioning using refrigeration equipment is, made, is found in bakeries. Heat recovery is also accomplished by refrigerant to water systems. It produces and stores hot water, transfers heat from the condenser to the cold water, and it's adaptable to most refrigerant systems. Tanks are constructed of vertical plates that allow refrigerant to flow through them. Rapid transmission of heat to water is provided, and it's often used as supplements to the existing hot water systems. Incubators can maintain constant temperatures. Refrigerating systems are used for cooling and electric elements for heating. Unit can maintain any constant temperature between 36 and 158 degrees. Additionally, industrial applications are commonly used to include cooling of water that in turn cools electrodes on resistance welders, cooling of quenching liquids to cool metals and heat treated applications, cooling of compressed air. Compressed air must be kept dry. Air, cooled, air is cooled to keep its dew point above the coldest spot in the air system. This prevents moisture in the lines. Another a refrigeration system cools it air to bring it below its critical pressure dew point. It's then reheated. The pressure dew point is about 50 degrees above the atmospheric dew point at 100 psi. The compressed air is cooled to about 35 degrees to 50 degrees. At 3000 CFM, air, co air compressor will need about a 20 ton capacity refrigerating machine. A refrigeration system located near flammable or explosive materials must be explosion proof. Sealed lights and sealed contact points are required. Low temperature units capable of maintaining negative 140 degrees are available. Such systems usually use 5 inches of insulation in a cascade system. Industrial freezing of foods is performed in two principal types of establishments processing plants and locker plants. Locker plants use a variety of equipment however plan for freezing food is similar. Food is weighed, checked for purity and suitability for freezing, then moves to the processing room where it is prepared for freezing. Finally the packed food is sent to the freezing section where the freezing and storage process is completed. Humidity in rooms where food is cured and stored should be near 100 percent. Temperature should be near 39 percent. Another form is cryogenic food freezing, obtains a temperature of negative 320 degrees and freezes instantaneously, causing little or no damage to the food. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has issued guidelines for food preparation and storage. Hot foods must be cooled to 70 degrees within two hours, then to 41 degrees within the next four hours. Cooling food too slowly allows the growth of bacteria. Food too, cooled too rapidly loses flavor. A microprocessor system to control chilling process and defrosting to maintain food temperatures may use a built-in printer to record operations. Industrial storage of refrigerated foods is done in a process. Probes are inserted in the food providing accurate measurement of each tray of food. Quick chilling is achieved by a system of air ducts that evenly distribute cold air across the food. So that is our con conversation of commercial applications. Now go back through and read your chapter 14 and then move on to the end of the chapter questions. 
Once you've done that, participate in the instruction in the discussion boards and then take the end of chapter quiz to complete your work on that lesson.